Thanks for staying with us on Headlines Now. Now, in the latest news, uh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala have traded charges against each other over the Mullai Periyar Dam. In its affidavit filed before the Empowered Panel, Tamil Nadu has rejected Kerala's demand for a new dam in lieu of the existing Mullai Periyar Dam. Tamil Nadu says that the existing dam is safe and can be strengthened. The Supreme Court has appointed an empowered panel headed by former Chief Justice of India, A.S. Anand, to decide certain issues, including the need for a new dam. Kerala, meanwhile, has told the panel that uh, construction of a new dam is the only solution. Kerala's affidavit says that the existing dam is 100 years old and unsafe and if damaged, it will destroy around five districts and that Tamil Nadu has no right to claim water in perpetuity. And uh, for more details on that story, Chief Legal Correspondent with NDTV 24-7A Vaidyanathan now joins us over the phone line. Vaidyanathan, how do you believe this could really change the chemistry between the two states? In fact, there is uh, nothing can change with, uh, whatever happens between the two states because this fight is going on in the Supreme Court for almost 10 years. If, if I can go back a little flashback and tell you what happened exactly over the years. First, Supreme Court heeded Tamil Nadu's request and said that the water level in the Mullah Periyar Dam should be raised from 136 feet to 142 feet. Instead of abiding by that, Kerala brought a new law which basically negated the Supreme Court judgment. So after that, Tamil Nadu came to Supreme Court challenging that law. So in due course, Supreme Court appointed a constitution bench which basically appointed this empowered panel to go into this issue. In fact, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Karnadi initially boycotted this panel saying that all the issues have been decided by the court. How can this committee, this panel can go into this issue? But later, succumbing to the pressure from the Supreme Court, which said Tamil Nadu will have to abide by this panel, then they, uh, uh, represent, they made a representative in the panel, Justice uh, E.R. Lakshman, former Supreme Court judges representing Tamil Nadu in the panel. So this panel is meeting on the 23rd of this month, which will examine the affidavits of both the states. In fact, Kerala is right from the beginning saying that there is no need for the old dam. New dam is a must. That's the only solution they say the dam is weak. So right from the beginning also, the Tamil Nadu government is saying the dam is fine. It can be strengthened and water level can be increased. So both governments are sticking to their own stance. And the other point is both Tamil Nadu and Kerala go to polls next year, less than eight months away. I don't think both the state governments will sway away from the existing stance, which basically we, we may give leverage to the opposition to attack in the coming election. So nothing much is going to happen. This is another formality which this panel will meet. Of course, on 23rd of this month, this meeting, this is not a final meeting. This is a meeting that just started. Right. So it will have a long way, probably the whatever the government comes, both in Kerala and Tamil Nadu, next time we'll have to go ahead with this case. All right. Thanks very much indeed, uh, Mr. Vaidyanathan, for joining us with those details. Clearly, the governments on both sides are stubborn. Now, putting an end to high drama and an eight-day long suspense in Kerala, the Karnataka police today arrested PDP leader Abdul Nasser Madani in connection with the 2008 Bangalore blasts case. The Deputy Commissioner of Police in Bengaluru executed the warrant against Madani with the support from the Kerala police. This was shortly after the PDP leader said he would be surrendering in a local magistrate court. Madani has been charged in the past for inflammatory speeches and is also believed to have links with the luxury toyba. In a bid to create awareness about the Commonwealth Games 2010 among the people at large, the Department of Information Technology has taken a massive initiative. It has put up uh, an exposition of the, wheel, of the wheels of a specially designed train called Commonwealth Express. The train, which was flagged off by the Railway Minister Mamta Banerjee on the 24th of June in Delhi, is on a 101-day-long journey schedule and is planned to travel uh, through 21 states and three union territories, stopping at 49 major stations. This is the 56th day of the journey of the Commonwealth Express and Chennai is the 27th stop in the itinerary. The next stop is Tiruvananthapuram. Now, ahead of Madras Day celebrations, we treat you with a slice of our city every single day. This is our special segment. Now, the taste of Buhari biryani, the taste uh, that identifies with the city the most, was known uh, that was known as Madras, continues to be a hit even today. Here's the inside details of one of Chennai's oldest and renowned hotels. 
In the 1980s and in the years before that, visitors to the city known as Madras at the time were told not to miss the Buhari Biryani. The restaurant which started serving guests in 1951 continues to be a hit despite competition from today's sophisticated range of restaurants. It's great to run the restaurant from as my grandfather started and I am proud to run this restaurant. He made a good revolution like uh, giving uniforms to the waiters. Kathuri Crocus is the person introduced and he started the standalone fine dining restaurant in Chennai. He is the first person to do. The hotel, a well-known landmark in Chennai today, was started by A.M. Buhari shortly after he returned to India from Colombo. Buhari Hotel's regular guest lists include traditional visitors, families that cannot do without a Buhari meal at least once a month. It was like my father who used to come here in the 70s and 80s. and he used to tell me like a lot about this hotel and even at night like he can get some food here so i have been a bit of craze here i mean like eating here like what was the soup what were used to tell and the samosa so and like actually after my college life with my friend like i thought like i'll come here so for the past one and a half years i am being here any day a meal at the buhari is a real treat as the restaurant of the past continues to delight the taste of contemporary chennai in chennai zoya thomas for ndtv hindu Well, that's the news for the moment. News in Tamil is coming up next. Do stay with us.